to CDA Miami Kids, where we learn more about God. This is the last week of our series, Amazed. But before we start, let's praise and worship our amazing and loving God, shall we? Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the heights above, praise Him all His angels, praise Him all His heavenly hosts, praise Him sun and moon, praise Him all you shining stars, praise Him you highest heavens and you waters above the video and in this week's video I'm going to show you how regular household items can make a cloud shed fireworks <laughs> what isn't that cool well safety comes first oh, oh ow. Okay, um, I'll figure this out and let's get on to it grab shaving cream from your dad's bathroom, your grandpa's bathroom, who knows, but just grab their shaving cream and uh, you're going to also grab food coloring, any color. Grab the shaving cream first, spread a generous layer on the top and this is going to symbolize our cloud. Okay, and let's um, mix it around a little bit, make it look like a cloud, maybe a little bit more. Okay. okay, now we're going to grab our favorite color. I'm just grabbing a random color here. And we're going to start spring. <gasps> what? Are you guys seeing this craziness? Look! Put a little bit 
too much of cloud. And make sure that it is a thin layer. Oh my goodness! Look at the little fireworks! So relaxing to look at. So mesmerizing. Alright, you see it. Oh man, another green finger. When do I not get green fingers doing all these really cool scientific videos? But it was worth it. Guys, if you really liked my super cool scientific video, please don't forget to post it on the Booms app. That way you guys can stock up points for the mystery box i really had fun um doing all these videos for you guys i always love 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 so much to make all these videos and please don't forget to always ask god for for his love and for his wisdom have a good week guys see you later It was fun, Diana! Thank you! <laughs> All this month, we've been talking about the amazing things God has done. Rosita, let's see how much of the Bible you know. Tell me if the following is true or false. Jump if it's true or stand still if it's false. Yeah, I'm excited! Ask me, I am ready! Okay, you join us too! God sent 10 plagues to Egypt. That's right, very good. Next, Jesus fed 5,000 people with just five loaves of bread and two fish. Mm, true! <laughs> Excellent! Now, God helped Moses split the Red Sea to help the Israelites get across. Mm, true! Very good! Next, Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. True! That's uh, amazing! This is the last one. The walls of Jericho fell after the Israelites marched around the city. Achoo! Amazing, Rosita! You scored 100% and because of that, you get a big carrot! Wow, this is really big carrot! I love it! Thank you, Rosita! <laughs> I knew you would love your gift! The events of the questions I asked you are just a few of the amazing things that God has done. Today, we'll hear all about another one. Let's go to our Bible story segment. Yeah! Hey kids, are you doing amazing today? I feel amazing too. Why? Because I just tried a really fun science experiment. First, I took a bunch of glasses and filled them with all different amounts of water. Then I took a stick and tapped on the glasses. And do you know what happened? They all made different sounds. I could even play a song on them, like a xylophone. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? As amazing as that is, I know an even more amazing thing that God once did with water. This is Elijah and Elisha. Elijah taught Elisha everything he knew about following God. One day, God told Elisha that Elijah was going to be taken up to heaven, but Elisha didn't want to believe it. Elijah needed to travel to another town, but Elisha was afraid he'd never see Elijah again, so he went with him. As they traveled, a big group of God's prophets followed them because Elijah was their leader. They kept following until they all arrived at the Jordan River. Everyone stopped and looked, wondering what would happen next. Elijah and Elisha didn't have a boat. 
how are they going to cross? Then something amazing happened. Elijah took off his coat, rolled it up, hit the water with it, and the water parted. Elijah and Elisha crossed the water on dry land. When they got to the other side, Elijah reminded Elisha that he was going to be with God soon and that Elisha was going to be in charge. Soon after, the two friends looked up and saw a chariot of fire in the sky pulled by horses. It came down, picked up Elijah, and took him up into the sky. After Elijah disappeared, Elisha picked his cloak off the ground and walked back to the river with it. When he got there, he rolled it up, just like Elijah had done, and hit the water with it. When the water parted, Elisha knew he was the new leader and would never forget this, that God does amazing things. Hello again, CDA kids and families. I always have an amazing time sharing the word of God with all of you. Today's Bible story is in 2 Kings chapter 2. So far, we've been hearing all about the amazing things God did through the prophet Elijah. God helped him to bring a young boy back to life, and he won a challenge against the prophet of Baal, the false god. When Elijah grew so tired and felt so alone that he wanted to give up and end it all, God spoke to him in a whisper on the mountain, and what comes next is amazing too. God was going to take Elijah up to heaven, but who would carry on the work that Elijah was doing? God told Elijah that he was to train Elisha to be the next prophet. Elisha wanted to do things for God just like Elijah. As they were walking along and talking together, suddenly a chariot and horses of fire appeared and separated the two of them, and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Elisha saw this and cried out and didn't see Elijah anymore. Did Elisha get what he asked for? Yes. Elisha inherited the blessings of Elijah and God did some amazing things through Elisha after Elijah was taken to heaven. Wow, God did some amazing things with Elijah, especially with that final amazing feat when Elijah was taken up to heaven. And God planned to do more amazing things through Elisha. Isn't that amazing, Rosita? Yes, it is! Hey everybody, give me a drum roll. This week's big idea is... God does amazing Rosita, now it's time... Do you want to see something amazing? Okay. Kids, are you ready? Now it's time to... Wash our hands or our paws for about 20 seconds with lots of soap. That's right. You are amazing. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. It's time for the Bible verse of the month. Deuteronomy 721. Do the motions with me. The Lord, your God, who is present with you, is a great and awesome God. Deuteronomy 721. Great job, guys. Thank you to all the amazing parents that have posted videos, coloring pages, comments, photos of their kids on Bloom's app. If you have not done that yet, no problem. You could still do so by downloading the app. Here is the information. On the Bloom's app, we will post coloring pages, God time, and other fun resources and activities for you to do at home with your kids for them to get some points to win the mystery box. it's time to pray. Bow your heads with me. Thank you, God, for this amazing lesson that you've given us. Thank you for doing amazing things like you did for Elijah and the amazing things that you're still doing for us today. Thank you, Lord, because you are so incredible and because you love us so much. Thank you for your love, your patience, and your mercy. 
Help us to be more like you. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being here with us today, guys. And remember to be there every Wednesday for our Zoom meetings. Preschoolers from 5 to 6 p.m. Elementary from 6 to 7 p.m. And if you're beyond amazing, invite a friend. It's going to be a lot of fun. Bye. Bye.